and do that. And then on this one right here. Okay, so what I have here is a plug. If you have a plug too and you want to branch off another plug from this plug and branch another one off, then you're in the right spot. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, if you like home improvement videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's a link in the bottom right, so go ahead and do that. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like it to let YouTube know. Let's it's take this wire that I want to branch off of. And I'm gonna cut it right here with these wire snippers. Just like this. Okay, snipped. All right, now that this wire is snipped, the one that we wanna branch off of, get the next thing ready, which is these little boxes right here. Find where you want your boxes first and go ahead and put your boxes there. I'm gonna set one on the ground right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bed right here. And what I'm thinking is a lot of people lay in a bed uh, they use their phone or want to plug their phone in at night. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting a plug way down here at the ground, I'm going to put a plug up here, but, uh, there's these little lines on here and, uh, on the side of the box and that acts as a guide. And those lines, all you do is you take those lines and put it right up against the wood, uh, like this. And I want it right here. So I got it against the wood and it, it sticks out a little bit from that two by four. It comes out from the wall just a little bit where those, that's why those lines are there, like I'm saying. Uh, and then you just hammer it in. and you don't have to go too tight. You don't have to go like death grip on it. Just get it snug on there. It's gonna be laying right here and they can plug their phone in here. If they have a guest over or a wife or a husband, they can lay here and I'm going to put another one right here. Do the exact same thing, and you want to put them at the same height, so that's right here, okay? And I'm going to hammer it in, okay? Now I've got my two boxes. Now I'm going to take a screwdriver and see, there's these little lines on the side right here, and they go right on the stud that keeps the spacing right for that sheetrock right there. And then see the nails are in one right there and one on the bottom and there's these little holes in the back there's four of them one two and then there's one two on the bottom but all i'm gonna do is i want my wire coming in on this one right here so i'm gonna take that one and and i'm gonna pop it and now that it's popped out all you want to do is take your wire and put it in that hole okay now my wire this is the hot wire coming in and we know the panel box is shut off, so I'm not gonna get electrocuted. And you wanna bring that out, huh, like that much, probably. <laughs> Go ahead and like my video if this is helpful in any way. Hot wire coming into this box, we popped out the back, and now I'm gonna pop out this side too, because I'm gonna run a new wire in here in a little while. We're gonna run a new wire in, but all I'm gonna do is be careful around these other wires over here. But I'm gonna drill a hole, about where I want it, which is for me right here. And don't drill into your other wire. Give yourself enough space to clear from here up and give your little service loop or something. And then you can go through right here. Okay, because I'm gonna kind of angle it a little bit. When I drill through, slightly angle, okay? Now I'm gonna take it this way and make sure they're at the exact same height so you can get that wire in there easier. Okay, slightly angled on both sides. I'm also gonna drill out right here in the middle. I'm gonna drill out in the middle and that's so I can kind of fish it with my finger. That's a little trick for you. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Over to this box. Okay, now we're over to the box. And I'm gonna pop this one out now with that screwdriver. Okay. I'm gonna go through that hole, come through this hole in this corner. And then this way, over to here, 
and I've popped out that hole. And then I'm going to pull it through quite a ways first before I make that turn. Make sure it's long enough. It's going to be pretty darn close. Kind of bend it like that, get a little hook. Now that it's got a little hook on it, I can fish it through here easier. Okay. It's through. The service loop right here, this is curled up with enough to work with and enough here to cut on. It goes straight, it looks clean, and then it comes down here into this box. Now I'm going to push this back up about like that. And now I have a service loop over here. I'm going to take this, make sure there's enough to curl up in right here, which there is. I'm going to snip it right there anything yet and remember when messing with electricity always be safe and hire a professional <laughs> don't you think yeah. okay all right so this is the setup i got the two wires the one is hot coming in and the other one is not. It's going to be hot going out to the next one, which is the one that I ran to that other one right there. But this is the original wire coming in and this is how I do it. I make the hooks on both hots. <laughs> See the whites are over here and the grounds are right here. And But you have to take the grounds and put them together. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Get them where they're the same, right there. So they're both alike, the same length and the same spot. That makes it easier to work on. And all I'm going to do is cut this one back a little ways, say right here. And now that that's cut, I'm going to bring them back to where they're even again. And I'm going to start the twist right here in the middle and not touch those other ones. So now that I've got that started, um, twisting um, there in the middle I'm going to take it with these pliers now and I'm going to twist it even better so I've got those wound together where they are one the ground wires are one and now I'm going to show you how I hook this plug in this plug right here I'm going to put it and it doesn't matter which ones Obviously, I'm just going to do the easiest one right there. Those two can go there. These two can go here. That's why the blacks are on this side and the whites are on this side. The whites go to the silver. The blacks go to the brass. Black to brass. White to silver. Ground to green. Okay. This ground one will hook on there. Now that I've got all these ready, I'll show you how I make those hooks. And I have another video that will break this down a little bit better. Uh, how to hook up receptacle in my electrical playlist. But I stick it through that little hole right there, and uh, uh, and I s turn it inwards like that on the ground screw, and I'm going to tighten it down. You can see there's two black, black to brass, white to silver, ground to green. And you see I tied the two grounds together by twisting them and then looping one on there. Don't need any extra parts or fittings or anything like that. This is a child proof uh, tamper resistant or whatever plug. And you see how I'm kind of pulling these back in there. And that it has plenty of service loop. You're going to pull them in there tight. Get that where you want it. And then you're going to drill it in. Okay. Once you drill this in, these two holes in the box, it comes with a cover. And you put that cover on there, and you drill that in there. Um, but I don't have sheetrock, so I'm not going to do that right now. But that's how you, that's how you do it. Here, that's the end of the run. And it goes around to here, to this one. Loops around, and then goes up into the attic. And then around over the ceiling, 
and into the panel box. That's all it does. And I'm going to be making videos on that eventually, how to hook up a panel box. Um, simple basic wiring in panel box. But anyway, that's that. You can see here, same thing, ground to ground, white to silver, but there's only one this time. And over here, black to brass, there's only one this time. And this is the end of the run. So that's how that's hooked up. Same thing, pull it up out there and you would screw it into the box. And so now we've got one there and one there. And you would like again, throw this cover on there. So I just turned on all the panel box breaker switches. Um, you can see I have my light that's on and there it is right there, the light's on. I've got power to the switches. I've got power to the plugs now. There was just one and now there's two. And you can see when it says correct wiring at the very bottom is lit up two. And that's what I have here. And you can see the same thing here, correct wiring at the bottom. There's two once again right there. That's how you turn one plug into two. And if you wanted to run another one, you could run another one straight up here over the window and add another one in right here or right here or whatever. You can add like four or five on there. I mean, I, you wouldn't want to add too many, but you can add a few on there. You can add four or five plugs on there as long as you're not running massive things if you're just running little things on there. <coughs> so I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and like my video and um, subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos.